right, so I'm going to be showing you how to build a 3D environment. I already have all of the objects I'll be using here. The characters, background, animated waterfall. This one is a PNG sequence, but you can also use a green screen for stuff like this. And then a masked out mountain. To get these, you can just take a regular image and mask out the part you want to use. Should be fairly simple. The, the mask can be very rough and you, you can put the feather to about 0 0.5 to 1. And then I also have a fence here. Let's start with just the characters in the background. So make three new layers. This one will be for the camera. And before we start to get these buttons, go to more edit visible button set. Click on show all and OK. And then you should have everything. Then just click on the make composite compositing child button. So these are grouped. And now this will be a parent track. Then we're also going to change the composite mode on the parent and the track itself to 3D. Everything, all of these buttons might look a bit different if, if you're using a, another, another Vegas Pro version. But everything, sh everything does the same. Then we're going to place the characters here, the background underneath. And now I want the background to be a lot further away than the characters. So we're going to go to the track motion for the background and change the Z value. We can do like 5000 or 10,000, something like that. The higher the number, the, the further away it, it'll be. And then we're going to change the size. Let's see, okay, maybe 400 is fine. And delete the first keyframe so it doesn't animate the position. Okay, it's lagging a bit. And if we were to do a movement here, right now, just doing something quick. You can see that the objects that are closer to, to the camera will move a lot faster. So the scene, uh, the scene will look more interesting when you're doing it in 3D and not just 2D. Now we can add the rest of the objects. So let's just duplicate this track. Place the mountain here. And I want this to be maybe like 2500 away, so it's right in the middle between the characters and the background. And then let's increase the size. Okay, maybe something like 300. Two fifty maybe. And I'm gonna put it so I can place the waterfall in the middle. I want the the mountain to cover the cover like until the top of the of the screen, so you can see the top top of the mountain. <laughs> if that makes sense. So something like this. And now let's add the waterfall. here and uh, yeah we, we want the waterfall to be on the same like C position as the mountain so so they're connected and you can see we had since we duplicated this track we get the same C position here but we could also just just change it to 2500 and then we're gonna position the waterfall like, right here somewhere this looks good, okay. And then finally the fence, just gonna take this one and make a new track here. And I want this to be somewhat close to the characters, so no, not too far away. Maybe we'll change by oops, 
500. And then we need to change the size also so it covers this. Okay, like that. Damn, I don't, I don't know why it's lagging so much. I'm also just gonna minimize the track so it doesn't take up so much space. You can also just click here to to change the track size. And now let's make everything blend together a bit better. So find either the BCC hues at lightness or from the Sapphire plugin hues at brightness. I'm just gonna take the BCC one, but but it doesn't matter. They they have the same settings. So I'm I'm adding it to the characters, and then we can change the hue a bit to get a different type of color. The the bench was really orange. And I, I want to make it more like a, more of a light brown. And let's also bring down the saturation. Then, okay, this is the fence. I'm just gonna desaturate this a bit more also. The waterfall is fine as it is right now, so let's just do the mountain. I want it to be more of a brown color. And then we can also decrease the, the brightness. Lastly, the background. I just want to desaturate this a lot more because the, the orange is standing out quite a bit. Like that. And then we're going to add a color correction on top. It can be any type of color correction you, you normally use. I'm just going to add some presets I have. I can also do a tutorial on color correction some other time. Let's just take this one and after we see that the characters are a bit too bright right now so let's go and bring down the the brightness here also okay that's a bit much okay i like that should be fine let's also just do some type of camera movement here gonna do a zoom out this scene is a bit long but okay let's pre-render it I could do more tutorials about scene building also because you can make a lot of different types of scenes and this specific scene didn't have a floor we just have the, the background here But yeah, it ends up looking looking like this. And you can build any type of scenes you want. It doesn't have to be with like realistic images or you can just put like film strips or uh, lens flares, stuff like that. Depends on on what you need in your in your edit. But that's basically everything. Um, hopefully this helped, if it did consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also I have um, a lot more tutorials, so you can check my tutorial playlist if, if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, I'll see you in the, ne in the next one, bye.